Please rise for a moment of silence to be followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, BHS. I'm Sean, and welcome to Bash TV. Today is Thursday, December 15th, making today the official 68th day of school and day two of the cycle. SATs will be given at BHS on March 11th, the registration deadline February 10th. Please sign up online at collegeboard.org. The BHS Band and Course Winter Concert will be held this Thursday beginning at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Journalism 2 student Nicholas Casella had the chance to see how the band is preparing for tonight's concert. Let's check it out. I'm Nick Casella. Today I'm here in the band wing of the high school to see how the band is progressing so far this year and what should be expected for the concert this holiday season. The band has been working hard preparing for the concert ever since the end of the marching season. The concert will take place on December 15th and there are many reasons as to why everyone is encouraged to attend. With me here are some of the students and staff from the band. I think the band is doing a great job progressing uh, in the way that they're performing and we started off uh, a little shaky as all beginning of concert cycles do and the music is really challenging for the winter concert this year so I kind of stepped up the level of what they would have to prepare for the concert and they're doing a great job. I'm really excited because I've one of the pieces that we're doing I've never performed before, so it's a first time for me as well as the entire band. But the other piece I actually did when I was in grad school, so I'm excited to bring that piece to the students here at Berwick. There is no cost to the concert at all. I think when you have free concerts, I think definitely more people are willing to come to watch the performances. Well, it's definitely something for the community to be involved with the high school community, and it gives the students an opportunity to showcase what they've been working on every single day. We have so many different ensembles, including the concert band, the win ensemble, men's chorus, women's chorus, uh, swing, modern air, so I think there's probably going to be about 200 students involved in this concert. Uh, the concert's a good thing to attend, especially on the holiday, holiday because uh, it's just something to do. If you don't have anything to do, definitely show up. Um, it's also, we work really hard on it and put a lot of effort into it. It really gets people in the spirit, you know? You hear some of your favorite pieces uh, in, in maybe a way that you haven't heard them done before. I think there's a lot of solid leadership in the band this year. There's a lot of uh, veterans, I guess you could say, who have been around for a while who can teach those who are up and coming. And I would say all of those who are up and coming have a decent amount of talent to harness that talent and to use it for the creation of music. Well, it definitely seems that this year's concert will be an exciting one, but I encourage everyone to come and see. That's it for today. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Nick. The music department has been working very hard to create a festive concert. Everyone should check it out tonight in our auditorium at 7 p.m. Admission is free. Anyone w wishing to participate in the library Christmas coloring contest, please have all entries submitted to Mrs. Henry by the end of homeroom, uh, homeroom on December 21st. For more information, please stop by the library. Now let's check out today's birthdays. Happy birthday today to Benjamin Gazinski. That's it for Bash TV. Have a great day, BHS.